This week's master to inspire you is Argentine-born Italian artist Leonor Fini. She was a painter, designer, illustrator, and author who lived between the years 1907 and 1996. Fini lived her life like a work of art, breaking every rule except for her own. She was a fearless female artist with high intelligence and extreme creative power. Although she had no formal artistic training, it is remarkable how well she was technically skilled. Leonor Fini can be considered the wildest and the most daringly liberated 20th century women artists who refused to be placed in any category, especially having the label of women artist. Although she exhibited with major surrealist artists for two decades, she never considered herself a surrealist. She believed that artistic expression must constantly be open to inspiration and imagination. In several of her self-portraits, she presents women as warrior, sphinx, sexually dominant, and cat-like goddess, who are the masters of lovers and landscapes. Fini was born in a broken family and moved with her mother to Italy when she was 18 months old. During her childhood, she was expelled from various schools for being rebellious. An eye disease in her early teens forced her to wear bandages on both eyes. After recovering, she decided to become an artist. She moved to Paris when she was 24 years old. A year later, she had her first exhibition at a gallery that was directed by Christian Dior. Her work caught on fast. She had a major exhibition in New York when she was 29 years old. From then on, her life became like a theater. She established herself as a woman artist in a man's world and invented herself on her own terms. She reflected her personal experiences in her art through exploring the masculine and feminine, dominance and submission, eroticism and humor. In personal life, Fini did not part with her ex-lovers and continued living with them even as a new lover moved in and took their place in her life. Thus, she became a modern version of a woman's right to cultivate and nurture an in-house male harem. Many of her canvases reveal the interplay between the dominant female and the passive male, where the female takes the form of the sphinx to which Leonor identified with. Feeney's creations went beyond the medium of painting and embraced theater, ballet, illustrations, and costumes. She designed for the Paris Opera as well as over 70 productions at various theaters in Paris between 1946 and 1969. Leonor Fini is considered a great contributor to the feminist movement. Although she is perceived as a female icon, sadly her eccentric lifestyle, open sexuality, and bohemian Parisian society life has diverted attention away from her artworks. The Art Dealers Association of America considers her the most undervalued artist of the 20th century. Despite the imprint she left on those who knew her like thousands of women artists, Leonor Fini's name has disappeared from the list of art history following her death in 1996 in Paris.